294, sir. It's not hard to find someone who can resist Bel Air Bakery. Need a bag? I stop probably once every two weeks to pick up donuts because they're so good here. I drive out of my way to make sure that I get some of these homemade donuts. It's been that way since 1955. After all this time, Jim Hamilton knows the ingredients to sweet success. Our first day's sale was $29. So you can imagine the work that you have to put into it for 60 years to get it to the point where we are now. It's been hard work, and after 60 years of baking, the family behind Bel Air Bakery has new plans. Go home and sit and drink coffee. <laughs> the news is bittersweet to people who have grown up coming here. I'm in shock right now just hearing it. I had no idea. I don't know why they would. The Hamiltons say it's just time, but it's not easy for them. They've been a part of their customers' happiest moments in life. Uh, probably this weekend will be the last wedding cake, and probably six generations. I mean, a part of people's the special moments in their lives, happiest moments, getting married, uh, having kids, graduations, and these are all been very positive things to be a part of. From donuts to danishes, if you ask customers, they definitely have their favorite here at Bel Air Bakery. But if you ask them what they miss the most, it's going to be the people behind the counter. Sometimes you don't even come in for a donut. You come in to say, hey, how you doing? You know, and that's it. The Hamiltons will miss that too. Christmas Eve will be their last day. We'll be busy, which kind of maybe will keep our minds off of it, but it, it will be really sad, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of people coming in one last time. Doors will close at 4, so savor every last bite. In Bel Air, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.